Hi, I'm Jason Wilson and welcome to Miller's Guild, my wood-fired steakhouse in the Hotel Max located in downtown Seattle. We're getting ready for the Bite of Seattle starting on July 18th where I am hosting the Alley with some of Seattle's finest restaurants. At the Alley you can enjoy a variety of creations from seven different chefs and special thanks to our sponsors, Alaska Airlines, Nyman Ranch Beef and the Washington Blueberry Commission. Fresh Washington blueberries are now in season. You can visit superblues.net, the website where you can locate U-Pick Farms, fruit stands all across Washington State, and you can buy direct from growers and save. You can freeze these fresh blueberries and use them year round. At the alley this year, we'll be serving a signature dish, Miller's Gill Grilled Beef Brisket with Fresh Washington Blueberry Corn Moho. Our all organic beef brisket features Nyman Ranch beef, with fresh Washington blueberries that are now in season. Nyman Ranch beef comes from 100% Angus pasture raised cattle that are never given antibiotics or added hormones from their family owned U.S. ranches. I want to talk really quickly about our beneficiary for this year's Bite of Seattle, Food Lifeline. Last year Food Lifeline delivered more than 26 million meals to more than 745,000 people throughout Washington through its nearly 300 food banks. This is a valuable asset that needs your support. This year, the admission to the alley is $10, which is all donated to Food Lifeline for seven great tastes. Now, let's go back in front of my Inferno Grill and prepare a great dish that you'll be able to taste at the Bite of Seattle in the alley this year. So, I'll start out with the first step for our moho is going to be our corn. Now, I've grilled off a couple of cobs here, have a nice char marks on the outside. I'm just going to remove them from the cob and place them in a nice little bowl here. So, my knife just easily cuts this away since it's been grilled and now the, the corn is cooked. And these cobs are really great to save for a stock or a soup at some point. So I'm going to break it up here. And I've got all this nice little charred and grilled smoky corn. We now have some fresh washed in blueberries. I'm going to place them in about equal amounts. And then we're going to add some seasoning. So I have a little bit of extra virgin and some sherry vinegar, add some acid to it. And then we're going to add in a three peppercorn mix, which is just the same peppercorn mix we'll use on the brisket. So it has a nice little spicy flavor to it. And then some of our smoked sea salt that we actually smoke here over the inferno. So a nice little flavoring addition. And we're just going to let these marinate a little bit. So I also have a spring onion from Walla Walla that I've charred up a little bit on the grill. And I'm just going to slice it up a little bit and place it in the, the moho. These are really light, sweet, and uh, nice textured onions. So have a nice little flavor to it. And then I've also roasted off some uh, red jalapenos and red bell peppers, which will go in our dish. Got a nice lot, a lot of color here now. So a little more of that spring onion mixture. And then finally some uh, chopped cilantro. Cilantro is going to add that nice fresh flavor and a kind of a traditional flavor for a mojo as well. There we are. So you see there the beautiful color that's going to happen. We've incorporated that smokiness that comes off the brisket and uh, really indicative of working with a wood fire grill. There we are. Beautiful start to the dish. And now I want to talk about what we're going to be doing with the, uh, the beef. We're featuring, we're going to feature Nyman Ranch beef, which is 100% Angus fed cattle, all from suppliers of small local family farms. And we're going to grill this off. I've got here. We're going to grill this off and then give it a nice slice. So you'll be seeing it how we serve it at the bite on the 18th. Ooh, she's hot. So there we've got our, our beautiful Nyman Ranch brisket. I'm going to add a little bit more of the sea salt here, the smoked salt, and then we'll finish it up with our Washington blueberry corn moho adding just a beautiful color contrast and flavor. 
something absolutely unique to the alley at the Bite of Seattle.